What's up guys, Champ here bringing you some more Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what we got for you is the next video from Mr. Cod. What we got here in this video is Mr. Cod got his Blackjack Specialist and he's using the Rogue version and he ends up getting a brutal medal with it and he goes off in this game and he ends up getting a lot of kills, low deaths and just kind of destroys the enemy team with that Rogue Blackjack Specialist. In this game he is using the CUDA with the rapid fire and the fast mags and the suppressor. Kind of similar to what I like to use, but he likes to throw the rapid fire on his CUDA. Something I haven't really tried too much. Maybe I should try because he does pretty well with it if you watch this video. In this video, there's a couple times that he really uses this blackjack specialist to his advantage. Coming up is actually one of those times. He's really good using the Tempest, and he's good with the Purifier. And in my mind, those are the two best specialists in the game. So he's fortunate that the other team is actually using those specialists. Because if not, then you get stuck with some really crummy specialists, and then you get... To, then the blackjack specialist doesn't become that good anymore, because you're just getting a whole bunch of, like war machines and rippers and ripper i'm not saying it's bad but it's very situational so you'll see right now he took out a couple guys and then he did something smart he retreated back to his team because you don't really want to be too far away from your team if you're going on these long streaks he likes he's very good at just like covering his back getting a couple kills and then making the right play so he doesn't put himself in a bad position you'll notice that if you watch closely to this game take some pointers on how you're supposed to play if you're trying to go on some long kill streaks. So I think by now everybody's kind of got the gist of how the blackjack character works. You get it for an hour, you get to choose either the rogue version or the gambler version, and I think you could swap back and forth. And within this hour, Mr. Cod was able to get two brutal medals. Yeah, he, did, he didn't get the nuclear, but he came close twice back to back almost I think there was only a game in between these so he really went off with this specialist pretty much the whole entire time we used it I mean we were throwing up some crazy game plays I was playing with him I also played in this game with him and I played in the other game with him I didn't do quite as well as him I believe I got a relentless on both of those just just like a 20 streak or I think I got a 19 kill streak in this one you'll actually see where I die because I'm in his screen later on in this game purifying everyone and then someone comes up and clunks me in the head with a pipe what a way to go off off on your streak that's actually the worst way to die off a streak and i'm pretty sure i burned that guy too and he still was able to clunk me in the head so like i said he gets two brutal medals with his specialist just within like the 20 minutes of he was playing with it which I think is pretty awesome, you know, getting a Brutal Medals, everybody on YouTube tries to act like it's the easiest thing, but they don't tell you how long they grind for those gameplays. They, they do. They, they play a long time. They don't just go ahead and get Brutal Medals all the time, unless you're playing with like a full six-man party and you're spawn trapping and you all got constant haters. In this game, it's just me and Mr. Cod. We're running some support for each other, and truthfully, he's got the wraps on, the counter UAV and the hater. Okay, so yeah, we're not even using a UAV in this one. I think I got the Wraith, the Wraps, and the Hater. So every once in a while, we're throwing up haters for each other, which is very helpful. But I mean, just imagine if you have a whole full six-man part of doing that. It's way easier that way, that's for sure. So I'm going to show you guys his next Brutal Medal in the next video, probably. Probably tomorrow, I think, I'll end up putting that one up. I had a little trouble, and it seems like I cut off the last three kills, because you know how theater mode is, and I have to get all his games from theater mode. So I'm going to wait and see if he gets it that way on his account, and if he doesn't, then I'll just go under his name, and I'll go into his account and get it. But that game, he goes off with the war machine. Yes, the war machine. The specialist that no one really likes. He ends up having like a six or seven man feed on like a base. Everybody tried to go cap the base and he just sneaks up on him and destroys him with the war machine, which is a very awesome clip. So I'm definitely going to be showing you guys that gameplay because it was really exciting game. So in this game right here, you'll see that he already went off with the Tempest a little bit before, picked up like three or four kills. 
Now he's gonna run over to the base, and I mean, he's already streaking, so I wouldn't even think about going to B. But he's an objective player. He likes to play the objective. He tries to win. But I think he realized, you know, he's on a roof list, so maybe he should get off that B flag. And, I mean, we're dominating this team already anyway, so it's not like we can't afford to lose a couple points right here. Now he's got his flamethrower, the purifier's out. He does really well with this purifier with the hater up. He just kind of picks the guys off one-on-one -on -one as they come towards him. Which is really a smart play with this purifier. Sometimes I get a little too crazy when I get my purifier in my hand. And I think I can just rush everybody. Sometimes you could. That's how you get a really good gameplay. But that's not exactly how you keep your streak going. So this is the best way to do it with your purifier. Just notice where the enemy's coming from. And take them out as they come to you. A lot of times they'll keep coming back for you too. Because sometimes, you know, when you get taken down by the same guy a couple times, you have like a little grudge in your mind. So you start rushing at him, thinking, oh, I'm going to take this guy out, revenge kill. And then he just keeps getting you. Especially with the hater up. I mean, if you got the hater up, why approach them? They're going to come to you eventually. Only certain players like to just spawn in and sit in back of the map. And those are players you definitely don't want to play with. But those games are not going to be fun. It's like they just accept defeat right off the bat. Like, oh, I'm not so worried about their KDs. They just end up playing like little babies the whole entire game just to like try to scrounge together a semi decent KD. And they usually end up getting messed up anyways because you throw the wraps in the Raven and then it just starts wrecking them anyways. So we're coming up to that point where he's about to get that brutal medal, but he ends up getting into a, kind of a sticky situation, caught in the air, too many people in front of him at once, and boom, he gets taken down. But he does get that brutal medal, and he did it with using the Rogue Blackjack Specialist, which I think is pretty good. You know, you only get it for an hour. So I think he had a heck of a game here and did really well with the time that he was given. So this game is coming to an end. He goes on another little 10-piece streak at the end. But I hope you guys liked what you saw, and if you did like what you see, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel at Champ Gaming. Lucky Plenty way, more from Mr. Cog coming up. Like I said, he's already got another brutal that he got earlier. I'm going to try to get the whole entire gameplay of that if I could. If not, I'll just show you like the 23 kill streak that he gets as well. Like I said before, he gets that huge kill feed with the war machine you're not going to want to miss that you know how the war machine is usually garbage not in this situation maybe they weren't wearing flap jacket i have no clue plus there's plenty more gameplays coming up we're getting nuclears like every other day here lots of brutals lots of good gameplays whenever we play nuketown i get a bunch of hundred plus and so he's going to become up and i have my series of how to get a high kd and eventually i'm going to be getting to more maps in the game i just need to start playing different game modes i guess also, when I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to be doing the biggest earned supply drop in all of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Nobody has more crypto keys than me. I can guarantee you guys that I've never spent a crypto key out of any of the games I've played out of all the crypto keys I earned. Plus, I got 200 COD points, bundles, bribes. I'm going to flash that at the end. So you guys can stay tuned and check that out. It's coming up in a second. So this has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.